In this tutorial, we learn how to find a specific term in a binomial expansion without actually having to write all the terms of the expansion. And we're going to do this with an example. The example is the one we see here. We're asked to find the x to the power of 8 term in the expansion of x squared plus 2, all of which is raised to the power of 7. So to do that, let me start by moving this question to the side, like so, and now we can get started. We know from the binomial expansion formula that we can write the following. x to the power of 2 plus 2 raised to the power of 7 is equal to the sum from r equals to 0 up to 7 of the general term which consists of the binomial coefficient 7r times x to the power of 2 which is raised to the power of 7 minus r times 2 raised to the power of r. Now this product here I like to call the general term and I usually write it as tr. And the first thing to do when we're given a question like the one we have here is to tidy up this general term as much as possible. And what I mean by tidy up is in particular to take care of the exponents around the x here. And in this case we can see that we have an x squared which is raised to the power of 7 minus r. So let's distribute this power across these parentheses. And that would look something like this. We can state that this equals to the sum from r equals to 0 up to 7 of the binomial coefficient 7r times x to the power of 2, which multiplies 7 minus r. And that multiplies 2 to the power of r. We carry on simplifying, and in this case we distribute this 2 across those parentheses. That would lead to the sum from r equals to 0 up to 7 of the binomial coefficient 7r times x to the power of 2 times 7 minus 2 times r, all of which is multiplying 2 to the power of r. Finally, we can state that x squared plus 2 raised to the power of 7 is equal to the sum from r equals to 0 up to 7 of the binomial coefficient 7r times x to the power of 2 times 7, which is 14, minus 2r, all of which is multiplying 2 to the power of r. And we've now simplified the general term of our binomial expansion. And in fact, I'll go ahead and rewrite and box that result. The general term of this binomial expansion is tr, which equals to the binomial coefficient 7r, times x to the power of 14 minus 2r, times 2 to the power of r. Now that that's done, the key thing to realize is that in the expansion of x squared plus 2 raised to the power of 7, the x to the power of 8 term corresponds to the general term when x to the power of 14 minus 2r equals to x to the power of 8. In other words, to find the x to the power of 8 term, all we need to do is figure out when x to the power of 14 minus 2r equals to x to the power of 8. And in fact, that's all we have to solve. We need to solve x to the power of 14 minus 2r equals to x to the power of 8. And since both sides of this equation are written as powers of the same base, which is x, we can solve this equation simply by equating its exponents. In other words, we can write 14 minus 2r equals to 8, and solve that for r. And that would lead to negative 2r equals to 8 minus 14, that's negative 2r equals to negative 6. And dividing both sides by negative 2 leads to r equals to negative 6 over negative 2. Finally, r is equal to 3. And what we've just found allows us to pinpoint the x to the power of 8 term. All we need to do is replace r by 3 inside this general term, and it will give us the x to the power of 8 term. And that would look like this. t3 equals to the binomial coefficient 7, 3 times x to the power of 14 minus 2 times 3 times 2 to the power of 3. All I've done there is copy the general term of the binomial expansion and replace every instance of r by 3. And all we need to do now is simplify this as much as possible, which leads to the following. 
This equals to the binomial coefficient, 7, 3, times x to the power of 14 minus 6, times 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. That's equal to the binomial coefficient, 7, 3, times x to the power of 14 minus 6, which is 8, times 8. We now need to calculate this binomial coefficient, and if we have a calculator, we can use it. But if we don't, we can of course calculate it by hand, and I'll do that in the upper right-hand corner. The binomial coefficient, 7, 3, equals to factorial 7 over factorial 7 minus 3 times factorial 3. That's equal to factorial 7 over factorial 4 times factorial 3. And that's equal to 7 times 6 times 5 times factorial 4 over factorial 4 times factorial 3. We can simplify this a bit. The factorial 4s cancel each other out, which leaves us with 7 times 6 times 5 over factorial 3. And that's 7 times 6 times 5 over 3 times 2 times 1. Now, 3 times 2 times 1 is 6, so the denominator cancels out with the 6 on the numerator. Finally, this equals to 7 times 5, which is equal to 35. So the binomial coefficient 7, 3 is equal to 35, and we can now carry on and state that the general term when r equals to 3 is equal to 35 times x to the power of 8 times 8, and that's equal to 35 times 8 times x to the power of 8. Finally, t3 is equal to 280 times x to the power of 8. And we're done. We now have the x to the power of 8 term in this binomial expansion.